Kingdom, a festival celebrating Mario and Luigi's birthday was being held. Princess Peach and Princess Daisy felt it would be fun to do for their mustached heroes. They also wanted to invite some people over to help with the celebration. In order to spice things up, they decided to hold a contest, a questionnaire, that is. It was to test everyone about how well people know the Mario Bros. And if those lucky people got the answers right, they would win the right to join the party. At least nine winners would come to the party. So as the results were tallied after the test, the winners were announced. And they were Sonic the Hedgehog, Amy Rose, Miles Tails Prowl, Scourge the Hedgehog, Fiona the Fox, Cuphead, Mugman, Mickey Mouse, and Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. So on the day of the festival, the nine winners were taken to the Mushroom Kingdom to join in the party and festivities. Everyone was excited. They couldn't wait for the food and games. And to make things even better, there was going to be a special show that was coming later on. Everyone was coming off the bus going into Toad Town to start the fun. I know he did pretty good. Gosh, Oswald, if it weren't for you, you and I wouldn't get those answers right, you know. Yeah, I guess I know a lot about the Mario Brothers. <laughs> this is so cool. I can't believe we won, you know. We did pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you okay? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm okay. Huh. Uh-uh. You're not fooling me. I know you. Come on, tell me. Aren't you happy coming here? You were talking about it for the past few days before we were answering the questions. Well, I am happy we are here. It's just, I think we kind of overdid it with Oswald yesterday. Uh, no, this again? Look, I was taking a break from bothering Sonic. 
I just needed an easy target is all, and it gets boring here sometimes. Well, Sonic is your rival, and that's always a challenge. But with Oswald, it's like kicking a puppy. Jeez, Fiona, why are you getting so worked up about all this? It's not my fault that stupid rabbit can't handle a simple teasing. He went off crying, Skirt. You said he was a burden to Mickey, and how you said he was going to be forgotten. That really did a number on the poor guy. <laughs> that little wimp deserved it. He was so weak that I got a kick out of it. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Ugh, don't worry about it. Now come on, let's play some games. As everyone got into Toad Town, the place was so beautiful with the decorations for the festival. There were many food stands and games placed around the place. Everybody was surprised and excited by the sights and sweet smells they all scattered around to either play or eat. The cup bros noticed Mickey trying to comfort Oswald, so they came over to them. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, you two were quiet coming all the way here, practically. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's nothing. The cup bros looked at each other confused, but they started to remember something. It was about Scourge. They noticed the guy kept bothering Oswald and picking on him lately, as well as when he was saying to him that he was a burden to Mickey. And then they remembered on the bus on the way to the festival, the guy blew spit wads at him. Hold on. Did that Scourge guy do something to you, Oswald? Did that Scourge guy do something to you, Oswald? Is that why you two have been... quiet? Pretty much. Yeah, he want to leave my brother alone, so we're trying to stay away from him during the festival, and we're gonna have a good time, huh? Hey, let's buy you guys cotton candy to cheer you both up. Yeah, sweets cheer me up a lot. Mickey and Oswald both started to smile, and then they nodded. So the four went to get some cotton candy. Sonic, Tails, and Amy went to play games. They found one with ping pong balls that you can throw into fish bowls to win a fish you want as long as it went in. Scourge and Fiona found a game where you use a water gun toy to squirt at a balloon with a stuffed plushie or a Pokemon. Scourge had his eye on a Meowth plush as Fiona set her eyes on a Growlithe doll. The two both played the game well, and in the end, they won the plushies they wanted. Sonic won a pretty blue and green fish. Amy got herself a cute goldfish, while Tails won a clownfish. The cup bros bought themselves cotton candy while getting some for Mickey and Oswald as well. The cotton candy was delicious. As they finished, they went to play a game that they had their eyes on. The game was one where you spin a wheel to get points. If you get the highest score, you win some excellent items like a bag of coins, different types of TVs, or a video game console of your choosing. Oswald had his eyes on a game console he wanted. It was a Nintendo Switch, and he knew there was one because he, there was a list he saw next to the stand for the game of what console there is to win if you get it. He had to get 200 points to get that Switch. Scourge was watching closely to see what Oswald was doing. He noticed that he was with Mickey and the Cup Rose were playing the spin wheel game too. The green hedgehog had a bad idea. He thought if he threw a rock at the wheel and that it would mess up Oswald's game. Fiona noticed what Scourge was doing. She pleaded to him to not do it and leave the poor rabbit alone. But Scourge ignored her. So then, he found a rock big enough to hit the wheel. The rock was at least the size of a tennis ball. He figured it would be good enough. Fiona couldn't bear to watch, so she turned her back on Scourge and continued the water gun toy squirt game. As Oswald spun the wheel, Scourge threw the rock, and it hit the wheel as Scourge planned. But as it did, the wheel fell and crashed on Oswald, giving the rabbit a few bruises. Oh, are you okay? I... I think so. 
just a little bruised. Huh? A rock? Where did you think this came from? I bet I know where. He must have threw it. That was too rich. I can't believe it worked. The cup rose immediately, told Mickey why Oswald got hurt. And as they told him, he was angry. He looked at Scourge with a nasty glare. Scourge noticed and glared back. Oswald couldn't believe what he heard from the cup bros. He felt agitated inside. He didn't know what to do as he was so torn. He managed to feel better from the fall at the spin wheel. As everyone continued to play, Peach started to speak on a loudspeaker in Toad Town. It's time for the show inside my castle. Do come inside and enter the theater we have next to my meeting room. Wow, a show? That is so cool. I know, right? I wonder what this is about. Come on, let's hurry inside so we can see. Hey, Mickey. I just have something to do real quick. I uh, forgot something in the games area. Oh, uh, okay. But hurry! The show is going to start soon! Everyone sat down, excited and eager to know what the show will be about back in the theater. It seemed Mario and Luigi wanted to put on a show for their birthday bash. As everyone waited, Cuphead and Mugman noticed Oswald was not with Mickey. Hey, where's Oswald? Yeah, where did he go? Oh! He said he forgot something at the game area, so he's going back to get it. It was at this moment that the cup bros were confused. They felt that something wasn't right because Oswald would have been back by now. It had been 15 minutes, and the games weren't too far from the castle. I... I think something about that is fishy. Um, what do you mean? Huh? Where's the show? And what's going on? Is, is Mickey Mouse here? Is Mickey Mouse here? Mickey waved his hand, letting Princess Peach know he was there. She then asked him to come up over on stage to read a letter that she had in her hand. And so Mickey did what Princess Peach asked, and as he read the letter, it was a letter from Oswald. His face then turned to horror. He couldn't believe what he had read. What's wrong? Dear Mickey, I'm sorry. I just can't take it anymore. I'm scared everywhere I go because of him. I thought his girlfriend would tell him to stop, but no, nothing. She doesn't do anything, even if she wanted to. I hate to see you sat like this, bro, especially all my friends, and I don't want to be a burden to you anymore. Mickey, he was right about that. I won't ever bother anyone ever again. Mickey, thank you for being a wonderful brother. Please don't come looking for me. It'll be alright. Signed, Oswald the Rabbit. Fiona had also lifted her head after reading the note and glared very extremely at Scourge. She shouted to him saying, And I told you we're overdoing it. Can someone explain to us what's going on? And what's with the note? Yeah! Mickey then took a deep breath and explained to Sonic and friends what was going on. As they listened, their faces soon turned to shock and then they looked over at Scourge. They were disgusted by his actions. Wh what do we have to do? Peach thought for a moment, and then she called the Cup Bros and Daisy over to form a plan to find the poor rabbit as quickly as possible. As they came, Peach started her plan. Okay, you guys got it? Mario, Luigi, use your cape feather to move and fly around to see if you can find Oswald. Check all the low places and the high places too. Check the trees, the cliffs, anything else that is probably at a high place. Daisy and I will look around the castle here. We're on it! Get on it! Wait, I can fly too! Let me come with you! Both Mario and Luigi agreed, and they let Tails come with them. Peach and Daisy looked around the castle, while Sonic, Amy, Tails, 
Cuphead, Mugman, Mickey, and even Fiona went outside Toe Town to check around the area and find him. They checked around in the food stand and the game section to see if they could find him. Don't worry, Mickey. We'll find him. Cuphead then placed his hand on Mickey's shoulder, and as the worried mouse looked up at him, he then smiled, agreeing to what Cuphead had told him. Meanwhile, Scourge was outside watching as everyone was looking for poor Oswald. I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, he's just a dumb little rabbit. I mean, why get so freaked out about it? Scourge continued to walk outside. Then, he heard Mario shouting not too far from an area where there were cliffs, and there was a river nearby. I found him! He... Wait, huh? He's not going to... Oh no, he... He jumped! He jumped! We gotta, we gotta catch, catch him! him. Oswald! Mickey screamed as he ran over to Mario, Luigi, and Tails after he heard Mario shout. Sonic, Amy, Cuphead, Mugman, and Fiona followed quickly as well. So they also came outside and ran over to where the others were running to. Mickey started to cry with worrisome for his brother as the gang tried to comfort him. Scourge finally caught up and was standing under a tree watching the whole thing as his face looked with annoyance. Finally, Mario, Luigi, and Tails flew back over to everyone as they have Oswald with them holding him close. They seemed to have upsetting looks on their faces with tears in their eyes? Is he okay? I, I'm so sorry. We, we weren't fast enough. No, no, Jose, please, no, no. The cup bros, Sonic and Amy were crying as their faces were in shock and sorrow for the rabbit. Fiona cried as well and glared at Scourge with disgust. She went over to Mickey to give the guy a hug, but he backed away from her. You stay away from me! Your stupid boyfriend! Hold him, my brother, to death! Mickey! I, 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 I'm... I... No! I pleaded with you! I tried to make amends! But no! You did not listen! You let your brother do whatever he wants! It's like you didn't give a crap about it! Hey, stop yelling at my girlfriend! She didn't even do anything! Well, excuse you! You wouldn't leave Oswald alone! Hey, it's not my fault that Rabbit was such a crybaby! Everyone was taken aback by what Scourge had said. Sonic clenched his fist and gnashed his teeth, raising his fist up to him, saying, I know you're rotten! You just went way too far there. That's just sick. Uh, how dare you? Jerk! Jack. You, you monster! Sheesh, whatever. Princess Peach and Daisy finally caught up with the group, but upon seeing what had happened to Oswald, they were completely devastated as well. Princess Peach softly put her hand on Mickey's shoulder, saying, Mickey? Come with me, and we'll take Oswald to a proper and very nice area to give him a nice burial. Poor Mickey. He nodded slowly, trying to wipe his tears away even though his face was completely flushed by all the crying. He softly carried Oswald gently in his arms and started to walk with Princess Peach in tow. Sonic, Amy, Tails, the Cup Bros, and Mario Bros followed them. Daisy asked Scourge and Fiona to come with her to her office inside Peach's castle, and so they did. As they got there, Daisy opened her office door, and Scourge and Fiona went inside first. Then she followed behind them. Daisy sat in her office chair as Fiona and Scourge sat down in two seats in front of Daisy's desk. Daisy sighed and took a deep breath to be as calm as possible to the two. I'm afraid I have to punish the two of you. But I didn't do anything. I swear. And do you think it's okay that your boyfriend do that? Hey, you leave her alone. She did nothing. I only said things to him. I never hit him or anything. 
And you think that makes it okay saying those terrible things anyway? You bullied him to death! I don't care if you hit him or not! The both of you are going to be punished for this! End of story! You can't punish Fiona! Do what you want to me, but don't hurt her! Guys! Just... Shut up! W what? N now wait a minute, I'm not letting you... Please, just... Just let me talk to JD alone! You wait outside! Fiona felt remorse while Scourge felt nothing but annoyance and anger inside. Annoyed, Scourge felt defeated and did exactly what Fiona said. He went outside of the office and sat down on a small bench. He then thought to himself, I... I don't get it. It's not fair. Fiona's being punished. And she didn't even do anything, just because I... I... Scourge then thought back to what he did to Oswald, and as he remembered all the awful things he did, it really made his stomach turn. What am I gonna do now? Uh... My, my, we have been a naughty hedgehog, haven't we? Suddenly, a small voice echoed in the hallway Scourge was sitting in. He looked around and was surprised to see that no one was there. Was it all in his head? Huh? What? Who said that? Am I going crazy? Oh, great. I'm hearing voices now. No, you're not crazy. Allow me to come to vision. As the figure started to materialize, it then took shape. It was none other than a beautiful blue female hedgehog girl with white and purple hair. It was none other than Katie Rose's best friend, Cindy the Hedgehog. Hey, I know you. You're Katie Rose's friend, right? That I am. I heard about your little stunt on that rabbit. Wh what H How? I have been watching. I saw every little thing you've done to him. And you seem to have driven him to the point of killing himself. And now Fiona is in trouble with me, but she did nothing wrong. Well, she is dating you and didn't do anything to stop you, so perhaps she should be punished as well along with you. Hey, no she shouldn't. Look, I'm not the one that drove Oswald to suicide. You bullied him to death. Sh shut up! I... I just don't know what to do! You poor thing, I almost feel sorry for you. But I have a deal you can't refuse. What? A deal? Of course. I have this great power where I can take someone back in time to a certain time period, or the day before the next day comes. Depends where it is. Wherever I want. You... you can do that? But why tell me this? Because I'm giving you a chance to fix the situation of what is going on right now. I could take you back to the day right when you were first meeting of Oswald before the party of the Mario Bros. You can? Wait a sec. What's the catch? All you have to do is to be nice to Oswald. Instead of being mean like you did before. What? I gotta be a goody two-shoes? Dude, I'm not saying you have to change. You just have to be nice to the rabbit, that's all. And as you do so, the situation will disappear, and Fiona won't get in trouble along with you. You get it? Scourge thought for a moment, and then he realized he and Fiona will be in the clear if, this, if he does this. He realizes he shouldn't go too far on someone to hurt themselves. Plus, Mickey won't lose Oswald at all. No funny business, no sudden surprises. <laughs> No, no, of course not. Unless you think being nice isn't good enough to just be stuck here letting you girlfriend suffer. All right, all right. Sheesh, fine. I'll... I'll do it. That's a good boy. She smiled and snapped her fingers. It made the room Scourge was in spun around until it took him to where he and Fiona were answering questions to win the festival. Scourge looked around. He realized he was with Fiona sitting under a tree answering Mario Bros questions. Fiona smiled as she wrote the answer down. Whoa, I'm back. 
She really did send me back in time. Fiona looked up from her pamphlet and asked Scourge if he knew what the answer to the question was. Huh? Oh, that's coins. Mario uses coins. Then Scourge noticed Oswald sitting at a table. Mickey was inside a building. It looked like a bakery store. Scourge remembered what happened, and he face palms hard and goes over to where Oswald was sitting at, but this time he has to be nice to the rabbit. Scourge said to himself as he got up and walked over to the rabbit, Oh boy, I gotta be nice to this dumb little rabbit. <sighs> Very well. Fiona realized what Scourge was doing, but she thought that he was going to be mean to him. Fiona pleaded with him to not bother, but Scourge told her he's got this. Hey, uh, what do you have there? It's... uh... It's a card for my brother Mickey. It's his birthday today, and I wanted to make him a card? Huh, a birthday card, eh? <laughs> Mind if I see the card? Scourge softly looks at the card and gives Oswald a really neat idea. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you put the stars and maybe his logo on it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it would be really cool, you know? You might like it. Well, here you go. Uh, thanks. Scourge softly gave the card back to Oswald and walked away. Oswald waved softly goodbye. Fiona saw the whole thing and was completely awestruck with her mouth wide open. Scourge the Hedgehog being nice to someone? No way this could have been real. Uh, did you just... are you okay? What was that all about? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm still me. Mickey comes out of the bakery with a pink box in his hands. He bought himself his own birthday cake. He had a gift card for it from Sonic, Amy, and Tails. He was also wearing new gloves that Cuphead and Mugman bought him. Oswald was excited to show Mickey the birthday card he made for him, so he proudly showed it. Mickey saw the card. He puts down his box that, that has his cake and checks the card out. And he loved the card. He gave his brother a hug as a thank you. Oswald was glad he liked it. Scourge was watching and nodded his head as he walked off with Fiona. He liked how things were better. But, but, but you just did a nice thing. That's not your style, and... Look, babe, it's still me, okay? I'm not some kind of goody-goody two-shoes. I'm still Scourge the Hedgehog. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog at his full potential. Bow before my mighty awesomeness! Bow to your superior! <laughs> alright, alright, that's fine. I'm just surprised that you did a great thing for Oswald. I thought you were going to be mean to him. Yeah, well, not a good idea. Besides, he ain't worth it. I'll just continue my rivalry with Sonic. It's better that way. Now, come on, let's continue our questionnaire so we can win attending the party. Well, alright then. Come on. Let's continue with the questionnaire so we can extend to the party. Cindy's voice echoed inside Scourge's head once more. Hey, hey nice, nice job, job there, there Scourge. Scourge. That wasn't, that wasn't so, so hard, hard, was it? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm still myself. Sheesh. Chill, Chill man. man. I, didn't I didn't say change, change yourself, yourself, but I'm, but glad, I'm glad you fixed the problem. The problem. As Cindy disappeared from Scourge's mind, Katie looks in her secret crystal ball, watching what Scourge just did as Cindy did her part. Good job, sis. You helped him out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to help that loser, but... He didn't really deserve his girlfriend getting in trouble because of what he did. True, and he shouldn't really deserve things too extreme on him. Still, though, that was really wrong of him hurting Oswald like that. Agreed. But you helped him fix it, did you not? <laughs> I know, I know I only did it because I felt bad for Fiona mostly. The two friends hugged each other, although Cindy wasn't much of a hugger. She likes it though, when Kitty hugs her, so she smiled proudly. Well that's the story. Scourge may be a jerk, but if he needs to solve something that he did and cause people to hurt themselves, he feels it should be fixed. 
at least to him. Bullying can go too far. You should take into consideration for other people's feelings because of how sensitive they can be. Thank you.